the first thing that we found is that the Kansas economy wasn't working. You know, if you go and you look at between 2000 and 2010, even when you take out the recessions on the, on the end there, think about the economic growth in the United States. Was that not the best economic growth we've ever had in our lifetimes? Think about it. Those were the greatest number of jobs being produced in America, the greatest increase in income and GDP. And you know what? Kansas lost private sector jobs in that time period. We were, we were losing. We couldn't keep up with America. We were going backwards. We lost an entire decade. You could not do that again if we did that again in the current situation of stagnation in, in the United States. We're lost. One of the first things that Governor Brownback and I did with the help of, of our legislature is we passed the Roz program. And what that did is if you moved into one of the 55 counties that had lost more than 10% of the population, if you moved there from out of state, you would not pay income tax for five years and we would help you with some of your college debt. Now, if you go to places like Oakley and Montezuma and places like that, you haven't seen them with a new kindergarten class in decades. And for the first time, we actually now have about an 8% increase in the number of kindergartners in our Ross counties going on. We have uh, cities like Goodland, for the first time in decades, actually adding a kindergarten class. Wow, people are starting to see and starting to react. It's small, but it's happening. And it's something that you don't read about every day. Another thing that we looked at is we had this unmanageable government. And we actually had to make government smaller. So now we literally got rid of entire cabinet agencies, consolidated them. We now have 3,000 fewer government employees than we did when we first came into office. We're trying to make it more efficient uh, for people and trying to make it better targeted. You know, really we're trying to focus on what can we accomplish in specific areas, such as Medicaid? What can you accomplish in education uh, across the state? And so now the Wall Street Journal says Kansas is one of the 10 best managed states in America right now. Don't read that in the Kansas City Star. We're also having record revenues. Now, we've all heard about the governor's tax cuts uh, there and what was passed the legislature. When we came into office, we could not continue doing what we were doing. We had the highest, we had the second highest tax system in the region uh, there. We have been growing exponentially. Uh, in that we're losing jobs, we're losing people, and you can't do that anymore. And so what the governor proposed and what the legislature has passed and, and what we've come up with is we cut income taxes on small businesses. That's where the jobs are, on small businesses, LLCs, subchapter S's. And we went from 6.45% to zero uh, on that. It's actually even lower than Texas, by the way. Um, and what is the result in that? Is over the last couple of years, we have had record numbers of new LLCs forming in Kansas. There, This past year, it's over 15,000, highest ever. And think about it, that's higher than before the recession by a large number, by about 20% more than what we were doing then. So, we're trying to grow businesses and it is starting to work uh, there. Not only does it mean more LLCs and more startups, but it also means more jobs. Remember, that last decade we lost private sector jobs. In the last three and a half years, we've gained 41,000 private sector jobs. It's a huge difference. We're putting on about 1,200 to 1,500 new jobs every month in the state of Kansas. And here in Johnson County, it's a really critical thing because now you know people are saying, well, you can compare what's going on uh, across the state line. Well, we can compare back in history. We saw what's happened over the last 10 years, but we can also look at geography. And you can see that in the Kansas City area, the vast majority of jobs are happening on the Kansas side. 
we're starting to grow. But it's not good enough. We got to keep going. We, we definitely do. And the results of that is pretty remarkable. We're the 10th lowest state in America for unemployment. Now, we're now 4.9%. We also have the seventh lowest cost of living in America is right here in Kansas. We have the, ni the ninth best place to make a living and earn a living in America is here in Kansas. We can do things and we are moving forward.